Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Thursday the 12th of September 2013. This is another look at the video by uh, UFO Lou or Lou Crichton with his aircraft carrier size UFO that he filmed on the 2nd of September from Melbourne. Um, since my first video I've done some further research on this. A lot of it has been based on the work by Ted Moxon. Um, who posted this article on the SatObs.org website and he's provided some very useful data there including this uh, diagram here which is a plot of uh, Lou's video compared to um, Time UTC and based on a, on a star chart that Ted has produced there. Um, what I've done is um, based on the identification of this object as the Yalgan 17 rocket. I've gone to a website to download the uh, TLE or two line element data which is mentioned here. Uh, TLE of the, the rocket there. I've imported this data into Starry Night Pro. Um, this is the import window here and you can see the two line element uh, data there. This is satellite number 39239, as you can see there, artificial satellite 39239, Yalgan17. So I'm going to close that and save it. And then I'm going to minimize this screen, and I'm going to bring up the video and minimize that screen so we've got them alongside each other. And uh, again, this was 547 hours, exact time confirmed, says Lou. This is on the 2nd of September and I've got Starry Night set to 5.46.15 which is the time that I've got a match for when the second camera starts filming. So what I've got to do here is start playing this just before 4.02 which is when the second video starts playing. So I've just got to allow myself a little bit of lead in there as it starts playing and then I'm going to hit the start button, play button on Starry Night as soon as we get to 402. So 359, 4, 1, 2, play. So now we're watching these side by side. I've got the Yalgan 17 uh, rocket um, centered in Starry Night. So our field of view is always centered on, on the rocket in Starry Night. In Lou's video, of course, he is um, not keeping it centered all the time and he's moving the camera around, so we have to allow for that. But what we're going to do is identify some stars and we can see that these two stars here are these two stars. Um, these two brighter stars here are these two here. Now I can see already that I have haven't got these quite synchronized. It's actually quite tricky to get them exactly right, but we will see from the, the stars that we can clearly identify that this is this UFO here in, in Lou's video is clearly this rocket object. So we'll just have to wait until Lou zooms out again and then we can identify some more stars. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, these stars here. This star here is this one here. So this is at 547, just coming up 548. This star here is this one. This star here is that one. We can see these two stars here are these two here. Now this is playing real time, remember? Lou's video is playing real time and, and so is Starry Night as you can see. We're just waiting for that to be sent a little bit more so we can pick up some stars. There's that bright star there, is that one there. The smaller one underneath is that one there. Remember too that the zoom is different. Sometimes Lou is zooming in. 
I'm not going to adjust the zoom on here, it's just too difficult to get it right. Okay, again that bright star is that one there, that star there is that one there. And you can see Lou is pointing his laser pointer at the object there. We'll wait for him to put it back in the center and then we can see some more stars. Okay, so these two stars here are these two stars here. Now there's a little um, curl of stars just here. And we're going to see that come into view. Okay, there it is. There's that little curl of stars. If you can see that there, that's that one there. Remember that the zoom is slightly different. He's got it more zoomed in here than I have here. And look for this little pattern here. There's a sort of a, a C shape there. And we can see that C shape uh, just here. Again, this brighter star here is this one here. These two stars down here are these two down here. We're now up to 5.50 a.m. This is 8 minutes and 4 seconds on Lou's video. These three stars here, 1, 2, 3, are these three here, 1, 2, 3. So we can see that this synchronizes pretty well um, between Starry Night and Lou's video. I don't think that there can be any doubt whatsoever that this object in Lou's video is the Yalgan 17 rocket. The funny sort of fan shape that we can see is actually the, um, the rocket flaring. It's doing a fuel dump to burn any um, excess fuel so that the rocket doesn't explode at a later time and and leave a whole lot of shrapnel which would be a danger to other satellites and the International Space Station. This bright star is this one here and these two here are these two here can see this bright star out here is this one here. We've got one, two, three stars there. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this, as I say, this is um, 39239. You can look it up yourself, you can go to Ted Moxon's article on SATOBS, check his data. It all lines up. Look, that little star that had just passed is that one there. That was perfectly aligned. See that? That star there was that one there. You can back it up and take a look. One, two, three stars. One, two, three. This is a positive identification of Lou's UFO. Now, Lou, I did, didn't really want to get into a fight with you over this. This all happened because you deleted comments from uh, James Oberg, who had positively identified this uh, object in the comments that he left under your video. He did not attack you in any way. He did not mock you. He simply posted the information. You deleted his comments and you blocked him. Then other people also tried to post the same information under your video, including Django2468. You also blocked, you also deleted his comments and blocked Django. Django told me about this and I went in and posted the same information. You deleted my comments and blocked me as well. And I did say to you that if you deleted comments and, and blocked people, that I would follow up with a video. And that is exactly what I did. Now, I called you out not for faking a video. Your video is real. Um, but what you've done is you've called it a UFO and you've asked people in your video to identify what it is if possible. Let's go full screen on this. In the description 
for your video, you say, let me just pull this up, you say, if anyone can explain what is larger slower than the ISS in orbit, please let me know. Well, James Oberg tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. And other people tried to tell you, and you wouldn't listen. So I wasn't calling you out for posting a fake UFO. You actually filmed a real object. And you should be proud of that video because it's it's actually a fantastic capture. It's a remarkable capture. And if you had just accepted the fact that it was a, a rocket launch, then your video would be posted on all sorts of um, space websites um, showing the launch because it is a remarkable capture. The mistake that you've made is to delete comments that people were making who were trying to tell you what this object was to positively identify it and then to go on a blocking spree that is where you've gone wrong as I say you know I didn't want to get into a fight with you but but you were deleting comments and blocking people and that is wrong you know if, if you want to invite people to identify what the object is and then you're going to delete their comments and block them well that's suppression of truth and that is what I was calling you out on Lou now I think it's fair to say that we've positively identified this object. It is the Yalgan 17 uh, rocket launch which launched three satellites. We can uh, see that the two videos are perfectly synchronized and the, the background stars um, prove that and uh, the article by Ted Moxon, uh, the, the data that's in there also proves that. Please bear with me, I'm very tired, it's uh, getting late and uh, I wanted to get this out there, but there we go, it's a positive identification for the Yalgan 17 rocket launch. Thank you for watching, as always check out my Facebook discussion page of Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex, I'll put a link in the description area for you. Thank you for watching.